basically, uh, inspirations come from um, walking and the different places that we've we've gone to, the different uh, <clears throat> weather conditions. Like in the middle of winter, we went up to the top of the mountain, and it was a day when it was completely uh, a different. Uh, it was like a fairyland, really. It was. It was no wind. It was about minus one and snow, ice, and just uh, uh, like something you see on a fantasy movie or something like that. <clears throat> For inspiration, um, you know, uh, walking along through rainforest and and um, recording. Recording uh, with the hydrophone in the creeks and um, mm. Thark Ridge when we did the recording with the um, sitting the instruments in the wind and uh, calling out echoes and it's coming back through. Uh, the 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 possibilities as <clears throat> for recording and um, writing songs is there's just so much so much there really. Mm. What do you think, Adrian? Yeah. You can write a hundred songs about the mountain and they can all be different. You know? Yeah. And yeah. they yeah. can all have their own original um, original theme, uh, original mountain theme, original mountain backgrounds. Yeah. And, and the project's not only um, like uh, <coughs> songs. We've got uh, um, Braden's done spoken word poetry mm. um, right through right throughout our, um, the whole the whole uh, recording of what we've done and the um, the website and that that complements the songs as well as telling different stories as yeah. well. The first the first walk we did was along uh, the base of the organ pipes and we walked up the yeah, up that steep steep track to the right underneath the base of the organ pipes and I did that um, that's when I first did cloud lifting with that, that um, jam on D. And the birds, yeah, we, the birds started. We stopped and the birds were singing along to the... Um, when we went and did the, uh, the mules track and we got to the, the junction there for lunch, we stopped and I just thought, got to have a country song in this. <laughs> in this project. And <laughs> At the, the junction. Yeah, and it just come out and, that, and the... Um, and I remember uh, I was saying to Bernie, we should go to Snake Plains. No, we're not going down there. <laughs> and, uh, and then it came to me like Snake Plains in the autumn. And uh, uh, that's how that song developed. Um, the last, one of the last songs we wrote in the project was um, Sphinx Rock, mm. where we just did the walk to Sphinx Rock and we was all sitting there and we just came up. Yeah. It, it took about hour or so just to come up with mm. a basic basic um, we all we all chucked in lines. We all chucked that in was, that was yeah. cool. I remember that those um, people were there and that, that we didn't notice them that and they were, they were witnessing the the creation of a song and they just said you guys are good <laughs> and they just walked off. And that's a compliment, you know, yeah, really yeah. Um, this this project has inspired me of I, I I'm a um, a songwriter, I've wrote, written a lot of songs and poetry, but um, this project is, uh, I think, uh, all up. I wrote about nine songs, and each song has always been a connection with um, with the place of the mountain and uh, the spiritual qualities of the mountain as well.